Last week, the president's so-called legal team promised to come forward with hard evidence of massive election fraud, including Sidney Powell, who at that time was thought to be part of the president's legal team. Of course, how did he choose his legal team, notwithstanding Rudy Giuliani? He chooses them off of Fox News, even though he's been critical of Fox News, as he should be, because Fox News has turned left and turned against him. He still picks people off of Fox News, and I'm talking about Jenna Ellis, Joe DeGeneva, Victoria Tenzing, and Sidney Powell. Now, that's not the way to choose people. I actually have a, a friend, uh, there's a delicatessen that people go to, and she told me that uh, the famous person by the name of Larry King chose his divorce lawyer because he ate breakfast with him at this delicatessen. Now, this delicatessen is a very nice delicatessen, but unfortunately, that divorce lawyer did a very bad job, and that's why Larry King never got divorced from his second, seventh wife, I might add, uh, coming in close to Henry VIII uh, for numbers of wives because the prenuptial agreement was so bad. Now, that being said, a little humor is why the president's legal team choosing his legal team off of Fox News is not exactly producing the results that he wants. In fact, he's hanging by a thread right now. And unless they come forward with hard evidence of this massive fraud, instances of isolated fraud in four or five states are not going to overturn this election. That helps explain, notwithstanding the fact that you have all these rhinos, Republicans in name only. Of course, I don't know what Republicans in name only means, since being Republican these days isn't really being Republican. They're not the same as Thomas Jefferson, as I write about in my new book, It Takes a Revolution, Forget the Scandal Industry, which you can purchase at Amazon.com. But the president's clearly in legal trouble. And this is something which the American people need to take to heart right now. This does not mean that there was not massive election fraud. I believe there was. But whoever is running his legal team hasn't found it, hasn't found it in sufficient quantity to overturn the election. And time is running out. Certifications will soon be made in all of the states in terms of the election results. Fox News, who the president looks to, to hire people, has abandoned him completely. They're now talking about Biden and his new cabinet. Brad Blakesman, a little sleazy person that he is, years ago, took our trademark, Freedom Watch, and tried to use it for his group. Uh, that no longer happened because that group's no longer in existence. But this is what we're talking about right now, a fixation on Fox News by the president. And it's time for him, I think, basically to say, hey, you know, I'm not going to succeed here. Stop sending 30 emails a day to everybody asking for money. It's turning into a fundraising scam at this point. Move on, okay? Run again in four years if that's what you want to do purchase a cable news network, purchase Newsmax, throw the CEO out, Christopher Ruddy, because he's really not a conservative. He gave a million dollars to the Clinton Foundation and run it yourself and get out there and compete with Fox News rather than bowing down to Fox News and hiring people that you simply see there that you think are good because they're on TV. You know, the best lawyers in this country are not necessarily on television. They're actually doing their job at law firms and other places. But I might add, the legal profession is so corrupt, it's perhaps the most corrupt profession of all, that you have to look hard to find a lawyer that will actually represent you rather than him or herself. And these people who have been representing the president in this election fight are representing primarily themselves, shooting their mouths off, like Sidney Powell, Jenna Ellis, half the time when you see her on TV, doesn't look like she knows what she's talking about, and DeGeneva, and Tenzing, they're the ones that predicted that John Durham was going to bring indictments. So, so much for that credibility. And of course, Giuliani, he's had one too many martinis. So this is where we are right now. And what we're going to be doing at Freedom Watch is bringing about justice. We're going to be commissioning more citizens grand juries. In the next few weeks, we're going to be indicting Biden and his son Hunter, seeking their indictment, trying them, convicting them. We'll go after Comey. We'll go after all the criminals of this administration, and it's time for the American people to rise up and do it for themselves. And that's why I want you to get my book, It Takes a Revolution, Forget the Scandal Industry. We are on the verge of going under for the count. And unless we the people rise up and not look for a political messiah, and as much as 
I think President Trump did an excellent job while he was president. We thank him for that. The reality is that dynamics, particularly with the legal team that can't shoot straight, that can't even shoot at all, we see the handwriting on the wall. So it's time to move on and do it for ourselves. Go get Freedom Watch. Uh, join our Justice League at freedomwatchusa.org. And read my book. Before you do that, read the Declaration of Independence. When the government has broken the bonds with the people, the people have a God-given right to abolish the government and form their own government. And that's something that, frankly, we should think about peacefully and legally. So get that book, read it. That's what you should be spending your time on right now, not fending 30 emails a day for fundraising, which, frankly, is a fundraising scam, in my opinion. That's what I have to say today. I'm telling you straight up the hard truth. This is the hard truth. Digest it. The American people must now rise up peacefully and legally on their own because we are up against a brain-dead president, an evil witch, Kamala Harris as vice president, and radical leftists that want to destroy this country. We can't wait around waiting for some legal team that can't shoot straight to do its job. Let's move forward. God bless you. God bless America. God save America. Thank you for listening to me. I'll be back tomorrow with another special podcast.